right, so now we have uh, Prince and the Revolution Take Me With You from Purple Rain duet with Apollonia. We have the 12-inch here and also the newly released Purple Rain soundtrack. Nice. On a picture disc. Oh, I love that intro, though. Oh, the drums? I, you know, I got just I got to say something. Okay, so go for it. I, Purple Rain probably one of my favorite Prince albums just because of the flow of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that song, this song to me just set off the whole album because Let's Go Crazy's on there and you're just like, it's a great intro. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, whoa, what is this? And you're into it and all of a sudden music cuts and big drum fail and just boom, you're grooving. And I was like... I always felt this intro was co- Phil Collins' copy, or uh, not Phil Collins, but uh, Philip uh, for Easy Lover. Oh. The, I always felt like it was a copy of this, uh, you know, like, you know, that, that real intro. Yeah, the same. I don't same. know. I don't know the. Easy, Easy Lover. Love, yeah. Mm-hmm. Philip Bailey and. Uh, Philip Bailey and Phil Collins. Got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Like the same, it's like yeah. it's a straight lift, in my opinion. But, but I always felt that this song set up the album. Yeah. For me. Uh, Mr. Minneapolis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair to Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> like, uh, for me, quite the opposite, actually. When I first got the record, I got the record before I saw the movie because I wasn't old enough to get into the movie, oh, but I was old enough to go buy the record. Mm-hmm. So I got the record. Uh, I used to get an allowance, and but it wasn't money. It was You could go pick out a record. Okay, okay. And so on one of those times, this was what I picked out. And I get it home. Let's go crazy. It's amazing. Already had heard it, though. Uh, and then it got to this song. And I was like, this is cool. But I was like, nah. Okay. This, this, is, is, not, this, is, not, this is not 1999 caliber music to me. You know what okay. I'm saying? Especially okay. as the kid. How do you feel now? No, now right. I have a different. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, was, it didn't take that long for me to figure out what made this song special. Yeah. Um, but for me, the song was just way too soft, but not a slow song. So it was kind of like, wait, what are you doing this middle ground mm-hmm. shit? I either want you to be super funky mm-hmm. yeah. and, and say some shit that's going to make me think, oh, I can't let my mom know I'm listening right, to right, this. Right. Or, Prince, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah, this yeah. was like, oh, this is music I could play for my mom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, I'm like, the guitar on here drives me nuts. That There's an acoustic guitar that plays uh-huh. through a lot of the song, okay, just yeah. kind of in the background. When I hear it, I'm just like, I love that shit. Um, the drum fills, I'm cool with the drum fills. The, yeah, yeah. the very outro of this song is the magic to me, though. When he hits like the very last like 20 seconds, there's this, there's this piece that he kind of, it starts to uh, repeat itself, and I always feel like somebody should make a beat out of that. <laughs> 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 when I see the movie and put the song together with the movie, and and also put the whole album together with the story of the movie. Cause I made it all fit together. Then I was like, "This song is the shit." Right. You know, it, it was yeah. dope to me. But on my very first listen, or maybe say first week or two, even, I was like, "Skip." Okay. Skip. Okay. Especially because you get to the next song, and the next song is like, "Yeah, okay, here we yeah, go here again." We go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I like "Let's Go Crazy," even though it was super rock. It was a rock song. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, "When Doves Cry" was the joint on this record. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's. So now now I gotta hold you to your word, cause. Obviously, the scene in the movie is when Apollonia goes swimming in Lake Minnetonka. The last time we talked, you said you were going to do an album with Alchemist called The Purifying Waters of Lake Minnetonka. No, just called Lake Minnetonka. Okay. Yeah, we made that record. It's what? done. Yeah, is yeah, it yeah, all yeah. print samples? I mean, ah. I, I, <laughs> That's why it never came out. I, you know, I, I, we both stopped talking about it because yeah. it's uh, never going to see okay. the light of day. Yeah. Um, I mean, somebody's holding it hostage. If we could... Uh, like if we could get a Kickstarter and raise enough mm-hmm. money to buy it from the person who's holding it hostage, yeah. So I, there is music recorded for like the Lake Minnetonka album. You're gonna edit this part out, right? Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs>